Hi guys, welcome to Next Gen Student Channel, Thermodan Mid Web Series. Today I am going to discuss Gaskell 3.3 question. So let's get started. So in this question, we are given a monoatomic ideal gas that undergoes reversible expansion and there are two processes. We need to find the final temperature. So for a monoatomic ideal gas, we have to know what is Cp and Cv. So we know this relation between the Cp, Cv and omega. So DeOF is degree of freedom. So if you take a monoatomic gas which is one atom, you will have and if you take a diatomic gas which has two atoms which are bonded together you will have rotation in z and y directions for this case so the degree of freedom contains rotation plus translation motion so for monoatomic gas the degree of freedom it has only three translation x y z and there is zero rotation so degree of freedom is three and for diatomic, the degree of freedom is 3 translation plus 3, 2 rotation. So rotation can be along y and z axis or x and z axis or x and y axis. So degree of freedom for diatomic is 5. So for monoatomic, gamma equals to 5 by 3 and Cp by Cv is equal to 5 by 3. So we have this relation. So we will have Cv equals to 3 by 2 R equals to 1.5 R and Cp is 2.5 R. Now in this question, we are given a process where it undergoes expansion and where to find the initial and the final temperature. We are given the entropy change for this reversible expansion. So we know that Q equals to Ncp delta T, N is 1 mole and Cp is 2.5 R. So we will just integrate this and we are given the entropy is 14.41 joule per kelvin and integration of 1 by t is ln t. So now we will derive the relation between t2 and t1. So that would happen to be t2 equals to 2 times t1. Also given that the heat equals to 6236 Kelvin which is equals to Cp Tt. So from this we know the difference between T2 and T1 that is 300. Now we will use the above relation to get T1 and T2 as 300 Kelvin and 600 Kelvin. In the B part we are given an isothermal expansion which goes from initial volume to twice its volume. So the temperature change is zero for isothermal expansion that means internal energy change is zero. So from the first law of thermodynamics, we have change in internal energy equals to Q minus W. So from this we have Q equals to W. In the question we are given the work done and the delta S as well. So we know the Q, we know the delta S. From this we can obtain the temperature is 300 Kelvin. Thank you for watching this video. If you like the content, please click on the like button and subscribe to our channel. Also please press the bell icon for further notifications. If you have any content that you would like to see, please do comment below.